back like we never left BDA and Hunter Hunter is back. Hunter Hunter is here and in typical Hunter Hunter fashion, we got a lot of dialogue, a lot of information and honestly they touched on things that I forgot or um, I just don't remember all of it. So, you know, after this, I'm going to release another video before the next chapter, kind of breaking everything down to, to, so it can make more sense because it was dialogue heavy. But, you know, just let's, for a brief summary of the episode, Karapika, he has, you know, his, his, he has his people now, his people that are going to infiltrate um, the princes as, you know, bodyguards or whatever. Um, Hanzo, Biscuit, Melody, um, two other people. They're trying to infiltrate and get close to Prince Harkenberg. And Karapika, he he went he goes through this whole spiel of breaking down the things that the kings did to set themselves apart. And this was the, the most interesting part of the, the, the chapter for me because he mentioned the prince that didn't change his compensation. Then he also mentioned the, the prince that came out with a huge compensation. So the difference is he said with the, the king or the prince with the huge compensation did not move. And that shows that he's willing to come out and he, he shows courage and strength from all from, from the beginning. That's his personality. But the king that did not change his compensation, who would not change that, he shows that he is strong-willed and he will not budge, he will not move, and he expects the same from his opponents. So by that deduction, he based, you know, he kind of made his decision based on that. But this other prince, the 14th prince, Prince Wobble, it was, he's like a baby and he's with his mother and his mom kind of thought the same way Karapika was thinking and she set it up that way just just so that she can get someone that is at least powerful enough to protect her and her son because uh, she said she was smitten with the king and that's how she got everything to a life of luxury but then when she found out the fate of the prince everything she questioned everything so at this point she's just trying to, to stay alive that's all she wants to do she wants to get away and Karapika and her struck, struck a deal and I guess the deal is Karapika, she's going to get Karapika as close to them as possible and Karapika is going to protect them with all of his might. But she did say that because of, you know, the princes and royalty, I, like, I, because it's a separation. It's a separation between, you know, as far as status. So she can't do anything outside of the normal you know, as for the status quo, she has to go with it. She can't go out of her means to get Karapika close to Harkenberg. And Karapika even said, don't go out of your way to do that for me. If you can, do it. But that's the agreement. And like I said, I'm going to break all this down in another video. But right now, Hunter Hunter is back. And I'm, I'm so excited. I'm reading the chapter and I'm breaking everything down. I'm hearing the, the OST playing in the background. I'm like, yo, Hunter Hunter is back, man. Hunter Hunter is back. It's so dialogue. If I'm going to go back and reread, you know, th probably from 320 or so, that's around Aluka and that stuff from 320 um, to 350, just, just to get caught up and get a refresher. Okay, I've been meaning to do that, but I, I didn't get a chance to. But let me know your thoughts on this chapter. Let me know what you think because... <sighs> a lot of dialogue but that's what we love and that's what we expect from hunter hunter but again let me know what you think like the video if you did subscribe to the channel if you have not that would be dope have a good day people